so I just have some water in a silver pot. It is the whole entire depth of my sink. And the beans we are soaking are um, four pounds. I have four bags of navy beans. So I will see y'all in the morning and show y'all what this look like. And um, tonight though, I am going to be doing some snapper. So got this red snapper from um, Costco. <laughs> Whenever you see this Kirkland brand, that's Costco. And then underneath that, y'all, we got our ribs and stuff. But anyway, uh, there we go. And I had a coupon for these guys for 60 cents off. Oh. Let's see. Dijon mustard. And there's a coupon also for this. Oh, it's right here. Hickory. Alright guys, so we are looking for pale ale. And so one of the pale ales brands is something like this. So I'm just gonna get one of these. All right, guys, so we are going to take these over to our pot and get started cooking the beans themselves, and then we can start incorporating everything else once the beans are done. So see y'all at the stove. All right, you guys, so we are back at the stove. I thought it would just be easier to put the beans into my cast iron pot here. And the reason I'm using the cast iron pot is because once I get this to the level of doneness, once these are tender and we've added all the ingredients, which you guys will see, I'm actually going to bake this in the oven at 400 degrees. If it is obviously an option to put these on your grill or your smoker, but I'm not doing that. So we're going to get this salted. Actually, I don't add salt to my beans. I let them cook because when you salt your water, it actually takes the beans forever to get soft. So I'm not salting my water. This is just plain beans that have soaked overnight. I actually only use about two and a half bags, or excuse me, two and a half pounds. And I'm going to freeze the rest of the beans that I'm not gonna use because I did a total of four last night, but I didn't need all of those. So um, yeah, that's that. I'll see you guys back here. I'm gonna check in in about an hour and let you guys know when these bad boys are nice and tender. Hopefully they'll be tender in about an hour. All right, y'all, so believe it or not, I am out of Ziploc bags and I didn't have a way to freeze the rest of the beans. So I'm actually gonna cook those separately. I'm just gonna 
do those normal and add some potato and okra to these and put them in a like an airtight, airtight um, Tupperware container and we'll eat these at another point throughout the week or what have you. So. Guys, and say rise up oh. and do this again. Do this. They can't again. see you. Tell them to rise up. Rise up and do this. Oh, thumbs up. Thanks, thumbs guys. Thumbs up. All right, y'all. So just was checking back. If you were wondering why there's another pot. And do a lot of likes, too. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs>guys somewhere in here i did pour the beer in and i must have not recorded so don't forget to add your beer probably at like the two hour mark of your beans cooking so so sorry i did not have that captured on film
y'all. But before I put this in the oven at 400 degrees, I actually am going to add some Dijon mustard. About a good tablespoon. I would say adjust the taste. I'm going to start off with just that much. If I want to adjust the taste, I will adjust. And then you guys saw me add the liquid smoke earlier, but I'm going to add a little bit of uh, W sauce. <laughs> I'm just going to call it that. Spare myself the embarrassment. And just a few dashes. Hopefully I didn't overdo it. And after this, I think we should be all set. So, give it a good stir. Then I'm going to let my husband taste it. He actually prefers his beans on the sweeter side. Um, but <clears throat> you have the ability to adjust your sweetness off, off of this recipe however you want. So, it's all according to your personal taste. Make the adjustments as you go. And let me get a spoon for him to taste. Knock it all right. You stopped it. I'm going to have to eat it up. I'm going to have to eat it up. Tomato paste. Here. Tomato paste? Do you want this? Mm -hmm. It's too much. I'm going to do that. Hot. Good. Oh, so it helps. Yeah. So apparently, we are good to go, guys. So again, <clears throat> pop this in the oven, 350 degrees. This is a cast iron Dutch oven. And aluminum or whatever you have should work just fine. Just make sure you really uh, secure your top. So I'll see you guys back when we are finished. I'll let you know how long it cooks for. It's going in at 7 o'clock right now. All right, y'all. It is 7.45. And ooh, look at that top. These beans. You could definitely let them go a little bit longer if you would like. Another 30 to 45 minutes. I'm going to stop here. As you all know, these beans will thicken up on their own. They will thicken up overnight. They will thicken up over time. So, that's the consistency. That's the consistency of the beans. Okay. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and as always thank you all so much for watching good night